Well, we're walking up to the Taj Mahal now. It's our tour guide. The gardens. This building was built by Shahaja. He was the fifth Mughal king of the Mughal dynasty and he made in the year 1631, about 350 years ago. It took 22 years to complete the entire monument and he made this monument for his dying wife. This lady got seriously ill in 1629 and there was no hope of a recovery. At that time, she was pregnant. When she was laying on the deathbed, Shahajan asked this lady, how can I show this world that I really loved you? She said that if he really loves her, then take care of her two wishes. First of all, take care of her, that he is not going to marry again and take care of her children. During that time, what used to happen, these people used to marry again and again, again and again. They used to have four or five legal wives, four legal, and rest of the other wives illegal. About 2,000, 2,500. Yeah, they used to have these like, like, ladies at that time. She did not want that, what the love he has shown. In these 17 years, he should forget that love. That's why she wanted this wish. And secondly, she said that, and she said for, take care of her children because at that time just for the sake of the throne they used to kill their son and they used to kill the father as well son used to kill the father son, uh, father used to kill the sin, sons and secondly she said that if he really loves her then he should make a unique monument after her death so this monument is standing like a symbol of love he made this monument for this wife so when she died after two years, he started the construction of this monument and it took 22 years to complete the entire monument in the white marble and the surroundings with the red sandstone. You will find everything is laid out in the symmetrical pattern over here. It is made in the Persian style. The Persian style fails when you look this monument from the back side because it is not in the center, it is one of the bank of the river Yamna. So when we go at the back side of it, you will find the river is flowing at the back of this monument. All the gardens are in front of it. It is not in the center here. Just for the symmetry, they have made two symmetrical buildings on the left and on the right. That is the mosque. And on there is one more building behind the trees. That is the guest house. That is the replica of the mosque there. There was, there was no purpose to make that building, just only to put everything in the contrast. And that mosque is, is still in use. On Friday when it is closed for the tourists, local people come here and they do they make their pairs. You can see there are four towers standing at the corner of this mausoleum. These are all Islamic symbols. Towers, domes at the top. Yeah. And these four towers are inclining two degrees away from the mausoleum so that if any earthquake or a storms come, they should not fall on this mausoleum. So they are tilting away two degrees. When we go near to it, you will find they are falling away. And you will find there are five domes at the top. One is the bigger one. When we look the three domes which are in the front, you will find the optical illusion in those three domes. Optical illusion in the three domes. You can see this one over here. It looks it is in the front. That one looks it in the back and bigger one in the center. But when we go on the opposite side, you will find that will come in the front. This one goes at the back. And the center one remains in the center. But when we look the three things from there, from where you will find the, uh, at the edge of this water channel, yeah? When you look those three domes from there, you will find all three are inclining. All three are straight there. You will not see the uh, difference in, uh, in those domes there, like what we see from here.